Hey y'all, welcome back to my workshop. I am the Backwoods Modeler. Um, today we're going to continue on. We're going to call this part two of the series of my junkyard build. Um, you can see back there in the back, I've got my um, fence post in already. Um, then I have this piece that I built already. We're going to make that the front wall. And then I already have my piece of fencing. I already cut it to size and everything. All I have to do now is glue that on. And then we're going to try to figure out how to make these stand up. And I think I have a pretty good idea that should work. So let's get into this. Let me get around the back over here and we'll start putting this fencing on. All right. So what I'm going to do, um, my stick or my... One of my sticks started trying to bow on me after I painted it, so it's got to deal with that. That's all right. It's for a junkyard. We don't want it to look perfect, right? So, um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my glue and I'm going to paint the back of these posts and the top with the glue, and then we'll just stick the fence right to it, in theory, anyway. I've never tried this before, so I'm not so sure how well it's going to work. I have these little condiment cups here that I've been testing with glue. It's starting to dry up now, but that glue has been in there for like three days. I could still use it, but it's kind of hard. So we're going to probably just get rid of that on something here. So what can we find to get rid of it? I don't know here. How about an old piece of this screen where I cut it off? We'll just wad this up. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit of glue in there. And we'll use that. Should have used this, turned this up a little bit already. There we go. Doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. I need to clean the tip out of that, I think. I brought a paintbrush over here, just a cheap one, something we don't care about. And I don't mind sparingly using this glue for the fact that it is going to dry clear. And I'm using it on the side we don't see. This is not very easy. I managed to come up with a better idea here. But this is what I got. Maybe I don't need to do every bit of it. Maybe I just need to dab it in a couple spots. Maybe we'll try that approach. This will take me all day trying to glue, put glue on every speck of this fence. And I know me, eventually, somewhere down the line, I will probably do some changing with this. So that's the reason why this fencing is not glued into the table. I'm going to leave this loose because I know me. I know I will end up changing this eventually. So when I build my stuff, I try to make it as modular as I can. Just because... You know, you find something cool and you want to add it to your diorama and can't really add it to it because something you were doing messes you up. So we don't have that problem here. This glue dries fast, so I need to move fast with this. And the other fencing, what we're going to do is I'm going to, I have some... Um, finishing nails in that box there if you can see them we're going to use that to make posts in the back for the other fence that way that too can come out when I'm ready for it to I mean y'all can't see it but I'm putting a lot of glue on this thing Didn't get that much that time. Okay, we're almost there. I'll show you another little screw up I did. I wasn't thinking. When I cut the fence to fit the fencing, I cut this one just as long as the fencing and then realized that that was a stupid move because I wanted to be able to put the post in the table. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Is this going to work? 
start down here, touch it to the end. And probably only got one shot to do this right. Nope. I better have time to play with it because that one shot didn't work. I gotta do some tweaking. Ooh-wee. Let's stretch this whole thing. There we go. Stretch it out. Now I got glue all over my doggone fence. It's alright, it's a junkyard. It's not supposed to look perfect. So, there's my chain link fence. I have no idea what this looks like on camera, guys. So, you have to have some. Ooh, easy. Pulled it too much. That gun. It. Had it set, and then I pulled it too much and unset it. Okay. There is our junkyard chain link fence, and that's about all the time we're going to put into that just because it's a junkyard fence. It's supposed to look bad. So, how's that look on camera? I can't see it. All right, now, we'll wash my paintbrush out when I get done here. So, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to start using that more often. That was the first time I ever tried that. It's condiment cups with the lid. I won't tell you what restaurant that I got them from because I don't want nobody coming after me. But I only borrowed a few of them. Okay. So now we got this piece of fence. We got our um, gate set up here. Probably want to put the gate in. This way if I need to cut this fence, I still can. How we are putting in our gate. I need to get my drill. <sighs> So, I learned a long time ago that if you take a finish nail, like so, you can cut the head off of it. Now we have a headless nail we can use for a drill bit. If your drill will allow you to go that small, and mine does. Alright, so... We are going to put our gates right here. I want a double gate. And I want the ends touching. All right, so. All right, that looks good. Right where I wanted it. So we'll take our drill with our nail. I could have probably used one that wasn't so daggone crooked, bent. So now, take our nails for our post, and these nails I got for this fence perfectly fit through here. So the plan is to make these where they move. Let me get my wacket over here. There. Now we have a swinging gate. Let's get the other one going. Get it down through the holes. Push it in there. Give it a couple taps with the hammer. Ooh, I'm gonna have to move one. That's not going to work. Drilled the hole in the wrong spot. It's okay, we can fix it. Let's move it over just a smidgen. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now I have two swinging gates. Actually, this one needs to be bent back a little bit. Bent that one too much. 
All right, so there's our gate. Now let's get our fence put up here. We're going to do the fence the same way. I'm going to drill about three holes along this line. We're going to drive the nail in there, and then when I put the fence up against it, we'll just put a little bit of glue against each nail, put it on there, and then when I'm ready to take it out, I can just pop them off. So keep one towards the end. One in the middle. And one on this end. Okay, get our three nails, pop those in, and again, these don't have to go in very far. Um, the holes that we drilled are nice and tight, so these are not going to be loose. Okay, all we got to do is lean our fence up against it, put a little glue on it. So there we go. We'll push it up against this fence to make this fence stay straighter and look a little straighter. And there we go, guys. I will switch you around here in a few minutes so you can see, probably have a better view of that. That's what we got. Um, well, my clamps. I don't know if I can get a clamp out here to hold this. Those might be too far. Yeah, those are too far down for this. All right. Well, oh, there. It's standing on its own now. So there's that fence. Now we just got to finish working on more of this. So, you know, I guess it's not a very good look here. Let me uh, swap you around here a little bit. You'll have a better view. Okay. Is that a better view? That look better there? All right. So now let me get this other stand out of my way. Get this out of the way. We're going to build a small fence from here to here, which is probably only going to be, looks like one big one and a little one. Just a small section here, and then we're going to run down this way. So I don't know, maybe I should just start this way. This would probably be easier. Yeah, so let's do that. Make that section. So anyway, guys, I think we're going to call this as in part two here because this is already getting too long. Um, I don't know if you can see how my fencing turned out or not. Let me take you over there and show you. Okay, so this is the chain link fence. If I zoom in, you can start seeing some of the chain link. Again, the white glue is blotchy, but you can already see, I, I put a lot of it on there. It's already starting to dry. And this stuff dries clear, so when it dries, you shouldn't be able to see it. So that is our chain link fence all the way down. Come around here. And that is our front wall fence. Once we get that glued in, it'll be looking pretty good. I had a setup over here the other day, and now I can't find it. I had this perfect little truck chassis that I could set the, my phone on and just roll it along it looked pretty slick so there's the front wall of the fence there's the two gates and we'll continue getting the rest of this done in the next part of the video thanks for hanging out with me today guys if you like this kind of stuff think about subscribing uh, check me out on Instagram check out some trucks I have for sale on eBay um, all that information is in the uh, uh, comment section below or the the uh, description below um, thanks for stopping by y'all have a good day now